Yo friend, what is up? Levi Allen here. Welcome to the Left Coast Studio. And today I'm giving away some free stuff. It's gonna be awesome. I'm giving away one free thing. If you want the free thing, you can go get it right here. It's completely free. In fact, I wanna exchange the free thing for your email. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good exchange. Uh, <laughs> if you would like the free thing, give me your email and I will email it to you. Or even, even better than that, if you have no interest of getting emails from me, if you go to this link, there's still a download button on there because I'm nice like that. I know if you don't want emails from me, that's fine, but I want to be able to chat with those that want to learn more about adventure filmmaking in the future. So if that is you and you want a free LUT, you can go to the link again and get it. The reason why I'm giving it away is because by far the most common post-processing question I get on my videos is how did you color grade that? What did you do in post? I'm gonna pull back the curtain today, reveal everything to you. I wanna do a more in-depth video on my color grading process that I've been kind of adapting over the years. Uh, that video will come in the future. Today I'm gonna to just generate a lot from what I've done, give it to you so that way you've got a nice starting point and then I'll show you how I tweak it. So that way we can do a more advanced thing down the road. But this is still gonna be really helpful and I wanna walk you through, even after I apply it in Premiere, there's some fine tuning and tweaking that I'm doing to kind of get the best out of it. And this is just my way to say, thank you for following along. Thank you for joining the Left Coast journey. If you're new, then this is a video from the past to say thank you. So we're time traveling here on the Left Coast and it's good. Welcome to the welcome to the journey. We're just gonna jump into Premiere and I'll show ya how we're kind of doing this thing here. We're gonna make sure that we've got the Lumetri color panel open. And then we're gonna go down to the creative section right here, select the click the clip that we'd like to apply it to. Go to browse in the look panel right there and select wherever you have the LUT stored. Uh, an important note here is I'm doing this on GH5 footage with the natural profile. That's a really great starting point for me. And, and that's actually what gets me a majority of the way there as far as the tone that I've been setting with some of my vlogs lately. Uh, so this is the settings that I've been using the natural profile with basically everything bumped down. And that's a really helpful starting point. And then the other footage I have, have here that I'm gonna be processing is DJI, DJI Phantom 4 Pro stuff. So once I've applied the LUT, uh, through the creative panel here. There's some small adjustments that I do right off the bat basically to every clip. So I often bring the intensity down a little bit. We're gonna make our preview window here bigger so we can see what's going on. Uh, I bring the intensity down a little bit. I bring in a little bit of faded film, usually somewhere under 30. I often sharpen it about 20. Uh, this is something that I do because I have the sharpening kicked down in my profile while I shoot on the GH5. Over here in curves, this is where some fun stuff happens. I usually add two points just like this. I bump the mids and highs up like that, bring the lows down like that, add a point there, and then I kind of soften out those blacks a little bit. That's how you kind of get that creamier black look down there. You can obviously do this pretty extreme. I recommend not doing that, but that kind of just makes it all mush and pastel -y. Uh, but in curves, this is where you can really fine tune the luminance of the image. So that's kind of the brightness and the contrast of what's going on. I'll often kind of dial in the look of what I'm going for inside of curves here. That's a good starting point. The LUT itself has stuff done to the hue saturation curves. I'll explain what I did later. Then over here in basic correction, often I will either bump exposure a touch or drop it a little bit to make it more moody. And then Contrast has already been added with the LUT. Saturation has already been added with the LUT. So then I'll dial in how warm I want the image to look with temperature. So I'll either increase it a little bit or dial it back a little bit. And then if there's some weird color stuff going on as far as it shifting to to, to green or, or magenta, purple, uh, then I'll kind of try to fine tune that out with tint. And that is how I apply this LUT to my footage. That's kind of the, the main starting point that I'll go with. I'll dial back the intensity if I, if I still feel it's too strong. The key here is not to go too much. Uh, when you're going fast on vlog edits, sometimes you end up with too much and that's, that's a little bit of a shame, uh, but you kind of wanna just get that subtle color shift going so that way it, it nudges over to a color space that you're happy with. And what I mean by that is when I'm applying this lookup table, it's shifting what would be true accurate color and it's making it 
a slight interpretation like you'd see from original film stocks out of film cameras. And that tends to give it a more cinematic vibe. But I find what contributes to the cinematic look even more so than that color shift is how you uh, adjust the contrast and the, the blacks and basically how the light is balanced in your frame and how you captured it in your camera. Hopefully that's making sense. So once I've applied it to one clip and I'm kind of happy with what I've dialed in, often I'll go over to my effects controls panel here. And once you've made adjustments in Lumetri panel for a clip over here in effects controls, it will also pop up the effect there. So you can command C to copy that. And I will oftentimes, if I know the footage in front of it is all the same, I'll just select it all and then go command V to paste it. And that is often how I color grade a vlog. I fine tune one clip, paste it to all of them, and then sometimes go through and do slight tweaks. Uh, with drone stuff, so here I have it applied. Often my Phantom 4 Pro tends to be slightly more magenta than my GH5. So I'll go in and I'll fine tune the tint. Woo! There it is. Download the lot, use it. Hopefully you get some great results. Send me, a, send me a message on Instagram with projects that you've been working on that you use this lot for, and maybe I'll feature it or something like that in my Instagram stories. I don't know why I'm not like kidding. I, I, maybe I'll feature it on my Instagram stories or something like that. This is uh, gonna be it for this video. There's many more things to come, some videos from the past. Jeez, some videos from the past that are gonna be coming out now because now I've actually had time to edit them and stuff. December is nuts. Welcome to December, by the way. December's gonna be insane. Many, many, many good things to come. Catch you in the next video. And remember, life's better when you make stuff.